What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films and today I'm going to give you guys my review on the Phantom 4 Pro after using it for a month. So let's get started. I have some notes on my phone so I don't forget everything. This is going to be a really quick one because I don't have a lot to say about this drone. So let's go ahead and do this. First thing that I like about this drone is its ease of use. The Phantom 4 Pro is my first drone and it didn't really take that long for me to get it on the air and start recording. My third video was like fantastic. I didn't need to learn a lot. I didn't look in the manual or look it up as much. Really, the ease of use of the Phantom 4 Pro is awesome. It's really noob friendly. You just set the GPS, get enough GPS for you to go up and press record on the video and that's pretty much it. I love how easy it is to use. The next thing that I like about the Phantom 4 Pro is the image quality. It just blew my mind. It's so much better than DSLR. It has so much dynamic range. Uh, not as much as a cinema camera, but it has a lot more than a regular DSLR, especially when using D-Log. I am really impressed with the image that's coming out out of this drone. And I believe DJI is actually going to start producing cameras, so that's pretty exciting news. Anyway, back to the drone. Third thing that I like about this drone is manual exposure controls. It's amazing. Being able to adjust your exposure and don't have to worry about automation. It's just amazing. You can get a really good image out of the camera if you're using manual exposure. You can set your aperture, you can set your ISO and your shutter speed. And this is one of the reasons why I pulled the trigger on this drone because of the manual exposures. I don't think there's any other drones in this price range that lets you change the manual, I mean, change the exposure manually. So when I found out that the drone changes exposure manually, I just had to jump on this drone. All right, the last thing I really like about this drone is the range. I tested the crap out of this drone and without even knowing I'm testing it out, basically just me flying it. And I don't even realize that some of the view is blocked. I didn't realize there are trees on the way and stuff like that, but it, was, it, it worked perfectly. I mean, I lost a couple of signals, but then again, it just returned home because it's so smart. It's the perfect drone for a newbie. So it was a perfect drone for me because it is my first drone, like I said. So that's the last thing I liked about this drone. Now let's go over the cons. The number one thing that I hate about this drone is the software or the app. It's just so crappy. And I totally understand what's going on, I think. Different people are using different phones with this drone. So um, it's really hard to set a standard firmware for it since like I'm using a Probably not even a approved phone, but it works. So my point is maybe if they just settle with their own uh, remote and screen that controls everything, I think that would be much better because a lot of people are trying to use the app with different phones, different uh, systems, Android, Apple. So um, I can't really blame DJI for that, but I think in the future they should just settle with their own remote, kind of like how the um, GoPro was uh, well attempting to do it with the Karma. Another thing I didn't like about the drone is the camera twitch, but then again, I really think it's probably just a firmware thing that they can fix in the future, but sometimes when I'm shooting a video or after I shoot the video, I see a little bit of camera jitter and that's probably because of the gimbal. Some, somewhere, somehow, it just jitters every now and then. Um, I mean, it doesn't bother me as much because, you know, I can just edit it out, but I think they should uh, fix that ASAP because it is quite annoying to some people probably, but for me, it's all right. It's not that big of a deal. The last thing I didn't like about this drone, well, it's not really like a big deal, but I think the automated uh, modes are just pointless. Just the follow me or whatever, all that stuff. I believe a lot of people lost their drones or crashed their drones because they trusted the automation of the modes, which I did not. I, I prefer manually controlling the drone because I have more control. So for me, the automatic uh, modes are just pointless. You know, the tracking and all that stuff, it was just pointless for me. So it's not really a downside, but just something that I didn't like. It was just, yeah, they commercialized it. They, they promoted all the automatic stuff. A uh, really good example is one of the modes that's supposed to track you. Um, it doesn't, it automatically changes your exposure settings. I'm not sure if it's just a bug, but that annoyed the crap out of me. So I just did not use 
that automatic feature, which is the tracking. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Overall, I think the drone is fantastic, especially for newbies like me who didn't really know anything about drones. The drone is so smart that you can just really unpack it, put it on the ground, put propellers in it, turn it on and just fly it as long as you have GPS, of course. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I have a lot more drone videos coming up uh, real soon. It's just really cold outside right now, so I've been grounded, but trust me, this year is gonna be great. We're gonna have some good footage for you.